What's up, Collective? It's Kev, Intuitive Kev, and I'm back to do another reading for the Collective. How's everybody doing today? Hopefully amazing. Spirit, we ask that you continue to guide us and protect us. We ask that you give us insight and guidance on our current situations. We ask that you lift the veil of falsehoods and reveal that which is hidden from us. And we thank you for your blessing, your wisdom, your power, and your work in our lives. Thank you so much, Spirit. So you guys know the name of the game. We're gonna get into the cards, uh, see if there's any updates or progress on our current situations. See if there's anything we don't see coming, anything we need to be aware of, the usual. I'm gonna pull three cards for overall energy and then we're gonna jump into the spread, see what we got going on. Hopefully everybody's enjoying their Sunday. Hopefully you guys have had a great weekend, did something for you. All right, so for overall energy, we have seven of wands. Stand up for yourself and your beliefs. Have confidence. Challenge those in power, but also choose your battles wisely. For overall energy, we also have six of pentacles. The good you do comes back to you. An unexpected inflow of abundance. Borrowing wisely or paying off a debt. Sharing your wealth with others less fortunate. Baby, yes. And for overall energy, we also have the Eight of Pentacles. Learning all you can about a subject or career, going back to school, taking a seminar, or finding a mentor. Attention to detail, skilled work that you love. Sounds all good to me. Standing up for yourself, you know, uh, receiving some abundance, you know, something you've worked for uh mastery you know perfecting your craft i'll take it bottom of this deck we have the page of swords logical perceptive insightful blunt and exciting intellectual challenge brilliant insights information that you need but might be challenging to receive review all documents very carefully maybe all right i did pre-shuffle this deck i'm gonna give it another go to mix it up, you know. I got a download last night. I had this dream. And I don't want to get detailed because it might be like a trigger for somebody. But, um, you know, you guys are like, a lot of you have been in situations where like, you were like boxed in a sense. Like, you know, you really couldn't, you couldn't see your own potential. There were people around you that might have saw your potential and you didn't and they didn't want you to see it. But like, a lot of you are getting into this space now where like, you're realizing, you know your own potential. You know what you're capable of. You know who you are. You know, you're not being caged anymore. And you're realizing, for me personally, I know I'm realizing that like, fear was the only thing stopping me. I had this dream last night and uh, it was vivid. But I was in a room with eight other people and there were, there, were, there were eight people opposing me. And one by one, they took turns. Like I said, I'm not gonna get details. I don't wanna trigger anybody. I've gotten used to having these crazy dreams. But like, they took turns, eight people, literally eight people. They took turns, you know, I guess trying to affect me, you know, trying to uh, hurt me, to be honest. And, um, I realized by the time I got to the eighth person, the eighth person, I realized, okay, none of this is affecting me. None of everybody that went came down the line, none of that affected me. But when I got to this eighth person, I was really intimidated because this is like a guy, he was huge, he was a bigger guy, and looked like somebody's uncle, like fresh out of jail or something. But this dude was it was really intimidating. So I remember being like really, really frightened. I was scared. And this dude comes up. And he draws back, like I said, I didn't want to get detailed. But anyway, you know, he did what he did. And up until it happened, I was really scared. I'm like terrified, like, okay, this is going to be the one. And the man did what he did. I didn't feel anything. And I broke a smile. I remember I'm like standing there after, you know, afterwards and I'm smiling. And it like triggered this man. Like he got so upset, like this huge man. <laughs> and then it dawned on me. I woke up at that moment and I was like, you know, I was scared for nothing like why was I scared you know I don't know I just wanted to share that interesting though I don't know and I've, I just started journaling like my dreams I've been writing them down because somebody you know informed me that it's like really important to do that so uh but yeah that was uh 
And like I said, it was eight people and it was like a family dynamic. You know, we started with the youngest. It was like three kids, two girls, a boy. And then, you know, we got up in age. We went from the the kids to like a mom and daddy to like a grandma and a grandfather. And then we ended off with the, the uncle, this old corn fed uncle. And I'm like, okay, this gonna be the one. Like, uncle might get me. But no, <laughs> uncle did not. <laughs> so, all right, let's get into it. Judgment. Three of Pentacles in reverse. Obsessed. We can't. We just can't get rid of that card, can we? Goodness gracious. Seven of Wands. That was overall energy. So I mean, these cards don't lie. King of Pentacles in reverse. Uh oh. See, yeah. This is somebody chaotic. You see how that card just flew all the way down to the flow? This is somebody chaotic. He going through it. Whoever this is. Two of Cups in reverse. Ten of Wands. I said he was going through. <laughs> Temperance in reverse, baby. <laughs> Woo! <laughs> Five of Cups in reverse. That's why the card just jumped out of my hand. Ace of Cups in reverse. Somebody going through. Oh, baby. Oh, man. <laughs> okay, this is going to be interesting. I mean, we already know how it's going, but you know, we gonna get details. Uh, this is like, I, I already know where this is going, but we're gonna jump right in. First off, we have judgment, you know? Judgment talks about things being made just, you know? Uh, being judged for the things you've done, whether good or bad. Judgment is clarified by it. 10 of Pentacles in reverse. Somebody did something bad. <laughs> The Hierophant. Eight of Swords in reverse. And the Lovers. Yeah, somebody's being judged. Probably this King of Pentacles in reverse. Uh, somebody's being judged. They're under judgment and they are taking a huge financial loss. Uh, the Ten of Pentacles, you know, the Ten of Pentacles talks about generational wealth. It could be a windfall of money. Um, it can be a... a plethora of you know an abundance of opportunities success prosperity in reverse it's the opposite of all of that somebody's being denied somebody has really missed the bus like and this was the last bus out this was the last flight leaving and they missed it ten of pentacles in reverse is a financial curse and somebody like yeah maybe somebody married themselves oh that's exactly what happened somebody's under judgment because they made a commitment elsewhere. This could be a masculine, a lot of, yeah, you already know. It's more like it's your masculine. Somebody made a high level commitment somewhere else. This could talk about a love contract. It could talk about a marriage. Maybe you could talk about a soul tie, a soul contract. Somebody committed, it talks about a commitment, a contractual binding commitment. Somebody committed somewhere else and now they are uh, trapped. Eight of Swords in reverse, like they are trapped and they're not getting out because they made a choice in love. They chose to commit to wherever they committed, and apparently they committed to a uh, financial curse. Ten of Pentacles in reverse. They committed to being broke and struggling uh, wherever they went. And yeah, the Eight of Swords in reverse, they are trapped. They cannot get out of this. Like I say, people do all of these, you know, you do this ritualistic stuff. You be signing them contracts in blood, you know, signing contracts in the 5D. And those are binding. Those are more binding than the ones here in the 3D. Don't get it twisted. Yeah, they decided to collaborate with somebody and it did. Yeah, it was a bad collaboration. It was not going to work out. If they were hoping that to get the Ten of Pentacles out of this collaboration, yeah, they were sadly mistaken. It was not going to work out. Uh, Three of Pentacles in reverse is clarified by it. Knight of Pentacles in reverse. The wheel in reverse. Queen of Cups in reverse. Oof, this is all bad. Queen of Pentacles. The her, no, this whole, oh my goodness. The pretender, this is the female pretender, the karmic feminine. Um, Yeah, this masculine got tricked. Duped. Right on. <laughs> he got duped. Uh, this collaboration was not going to work. Because somebody, or both of them, you know, they were unreliable, untrustworthy, lazy. They didn't want to do the work. They just wanted to go, you know, reap the benefits. 
Now, both of them are experiencing bad karma, bad luck, and bad fortune. The wheel has turned out of their favor. And, you know, then we have this karmic feminine, which is, you know, uh, this is somebody that carries himself as, as a queen of pentacles. You know, this is a feminine energy. It can be a man or woman. This person likes to, to appear like they got it going on. You know, they're in their bag and out the mess. They not with their drama. They just, you know, uh, focus on their, their money, you know, getting it together, a business owner, you know, somebody with ideas, creative ideas, and, you know, somebody just chasing the bag. But no, that person, they carry themselves like a queen of pentacles. This person is a queen of cups in reverse. Uh, extremely temperamental, jealous, uh, needy, codependent, insecure. This person is emotionally unstable. Like at currently, at this moment, I feel it. This person is emotionally unstable. She's losing something. She's, uh, yeah, this uh, feminine energy is losing something. Could be this masculine, could be some money, could be, uh, I don't know. Could be there, it, more than likely it's their mind, because then we, because <laughs> then we, it's followed by obsessed. That's what she losing, she losing her mind. Over there going bad shit. Silly rabbit. <laughs> Tricks up the <for> kids, <laughs> baby, yeah. Obsessed is clarified by three of wands. She waiting for, she waiting for something. Hidden enemy. <laughs> Ten of swords in reverse. Strength. Yeah, I feel like this person, they are still obsessed. Why is this, this karmic is so pressed and obsessed, just like out of their mind. Like really losing it because you stuck in that karmic cycle by yourself, sweet pea. Like don't be mad at the collective. They don't have nothing to do with us. You did it to yourself, sis or bro. Like you, you literally did that to yourself. So obsessed. Like mind your business. Get you some. What you worried about the collective fault? We not worried about you. This person's waiting for something. <laughs> what they waiting for, collective? We already know what they waiting for. Some more of that little spell work that they done did to kick on in. Not even knowing, not even realizing that it's it's gonna manifest in their life. It's gonna manifest, it's gonna manifest in this karmic's life. They wait on some shit to happen to us. It's gonna manifest in your life. Stupid. This person, uh, this person is a hidden enemy. Like I say, a lot of y'all don't even know this karmic. You don't even know this person. How pathetic. How sad. You don't even know this person. And they're so pressed, so worried about you and what you're doing. Like, get a life. Don't you have kids? Some of these people got kids. Like, get a life. Get a grip, sis. Or no, not even sis. Because, yeah, uh, man, nobody in this type of energy. You, no, we can relate. No relation. Uncle Ruckus, no relation. This person's a hidden enemy. Like I said, a lot of y'all don't even know who this person is. But this person's defeated. They don't even realize that they're like at the bottom. You at the bottom of the bottom. Fuck like cream of the crop. You that you know that nasty shit at the bottom of the barrel. Like what the it's all it's over. It's over. <laughs> Ten of Swords is like the ultimate defeat, like being at rock bottom. In reverse, it's all like fuck being at the bottom, like you like uh, like come on now. Like just lay down. You got to be tired, lay down. And I feel like this is you collecting. <laughs> of course, you know, you embodying strength, getting stronger, looking stronger. You know, getting your faith is stronger, your gratitude is stronger, you know, you feeling stronger, and uh, you still at the seven of wands, protecting you, that was overall energy, protecting yourself, standing your ground, knowing your worth, and you're divinely protected. You're in that beautiful bubble of divine protection. Seven of wands is clarified by secrets, they always got secrets. The hangman in reverse. Three of Cups. Ace of Pentacles in reverse. Like I said, I feel like whatever the situation is, you're standing strong. You are maintaining your strength. You are maintaining your faith. You are standing in your power. You know, standing in the power that you call back and still calling the rest of it back. Like, yeah, yeah I'm going to need all that back. Thank you. Appreciate it. Um, And yeah, you're, you're protected. 
there's somebody that's like was stuck. This masculine energy. This person's been stuck. They're enlightened. And we've seen that, you know, the last few reads. They're enlightened. They know what the situation is. They know who you are to them. You know, this man or this woman, they know who you are. They know you was a divine partner. This person knows that they've ruined their own life. Uh, they're very much aware of that. With uh, the hangman in reverse, they're aware of that. They're aware of who you are, who they were, what they've done, and uh, how it's about to affect them. This person still has a lot of secrets. Or maybe, they, you know, they've been keeping this a secret from you. Like, oh, I know who y'all. I know you was my divine feminine. I know I messed this up. I know I tried to kill you four times. But, uh, yeah, I'm going to keep it a secret, though. I don't want you to know that I know. What? What? Like, what? This person was tricked out of their blessing. The Ace of Pentacles, you know, that's a blessing from God. It could be your destiny. It could be uh, money. It could be abundance. It could be prosperity. It could be faith. It could be gifts, spiritual gifts. You know, it's all of that. Essentially, all of that. It's a big blessing coming like from the hand of God. It's in reverse. And I really feel like this person allowed this masculine energy. Hold on, how are we doing this? This masculine energy allowed a group of people you know, uh, the people that were around them in their environment to really like trick them out of that, out of their divinity, out of their destiny, out of their blessings. Like I said, especially if you're in a twin flame journey, like I say, who, whichever one of y'all ascended first, you're the one that's you, you, you on the golden road, you know, you, you done kept it moving. You stayed in alignment. You cut off things, places and people that no longer serve you. And you've been I've really been smiling ever since, you know, despite the healing, you know, you've been smiling ever since, you know, where you headed. But this is the energy, this King of Pentacles in reverse. This King of Pentacles in reverse, you know, really allowed a group of people around them to come in and derail their destiny. You know, probably had this person doing drugs, partying all the time, having a sexual excess, just screwing anything with a hole. Like, you know, and really like dupe this person, trick this person. They were, you know, uh, working for the enemy anyway. They tricked this person out of their blessing. So worried about friends. That's why I say, so forget about her. Forget her friend. Because like I say, anybody that I trusted in love with the exception of two people, two people, anybody that I loved and trusted has screwed me over in 2022, just this year alone. Anybody I had any type of love or trust for has revealed themselves as an enemy. And I know a lot of y'all can relate. I thought I was losing my mind. Like, this cannot be, this couldn't be. Everybody against me, but yeah, <laughs> it really was. So, uh, hey, then we got the King of Pentacles in reverse. You know, the King of Pentacles in reverse, this is a pretender. You know, this is somebody, King of Pentacles in the upright. This guy is financially, you know, stable, successful in his own right. You know, business oriented, uh, typically has a lot of money. In reverse, this is a pretender. He want to look like he got a lot of money. Or she want to look like she got a lot of money. She don't. Or he don't. They pretending. They just, they, they, they put on. They want, you know, want everybody to think they got it going. Oh, I'm the man. I'm, I'm riding around and I'm getting it. No, you're not. You're broke. Stop plodging. Um, King of, <laughs> King of Pentacles in reverse is, uh, clarified by the tower in reverse. Trying to avoid the tower. That's an act of God. People stay, they stay trying to avoid some towers for all the bullshit they didn't did. But just trying to manifest the tower not happening. Who you think, who you think you were? You thought you was going to stop God? Oh. The chariot. They try, <laughs> trying to manifest some forward movement because his ass is stuck. Being sneaky and deceptive. How you go win if you ain't right within? That's what I'm saying. They keep doing the same shit. Like, oh, I know being a false person and being sneaky and deceptive didn't work the last 10 times, but let me try it again. You stupid. You're dumb. You're dumb. Like, come on now. Yeah, this person trying to manifest some type of forward movement, probably towards you. Or either they're trying to manifest forward movement away from the situation they're in. <laughs> Two of Cups in reverse. This is a love partnership. In reverse, it's a bad relationship. It's toxic as hell. Or this talks about a breakup, too. They're trying to manifest breaking free from this creature they done decided to. to <laughs> This man trying to manifest his freedom. He's trying to manifest breaking free from this creature that he didn't decide to marry. Been over there draining his pockets and his life force. Like I say, somebody in bad health. 
bottom of the, and I wasn't gonna show y'all until the end, but bottom of the deck, four swords in reverse. Somebody's in bad health. <laughs> Somebody is in bad health. And it's because they got a succubus. They got a succubus energy just draining the draining their life force, draining their bank account, <laughs> draining their faith, like. And like I said, that's so sad because I know I warned the person, you know, in, in my story, I warned that person several times. I said, listen, you need to stay away. Even if you're not going to be with me, you need to stay away from A, B, and C. What'd that person do? Went right to A, went from A to B, and went from B to C. Like, are you stupid? Okay. All right. That's when I just, I, that's when I started cutting cords. Like, okay, this can't be no, this is not no true swing. No way, no how. And I got the sniffing. Snip, snip, snip. We cutting cords. Let's do it. All right. Then we have the Two of Cups in reverse. Two of Cups in reverse is clarified by Black Magic. <laughs> ah! <laughs> the Six of Swords. <laughs> Baby. Six of Wands. Queen of Wands. She keep coming out in the upright. And you know, typically this Queen of Wands is reversed and it's that karmic energy. But, uh, yeah, somebody trying to sneak away. Seven of Swords, they trying to sneak away from whatever they didn't commit it to <laughs> with this she-devil or this he-devil, whatever. Um, they might be trying to do black magic to get a breakup, to break up with this person. <laughs> Ain't that just the irony? Like, man, just that's, oh my goodness, the irony. You got to do black magic to break up with this person. Knowing you did black magic on the collector. Baby. Yeah, but somebody's like trying to manifest a breakup. They're trying to sneak away. <laughs> uh, This person could be doing some type of magic to, uh. no, this is you. I feel like this is collective energy. That's what it was. Somebody did black magic on you. You know, a lot of us, yeah, this is true. I know it's going to resonate for a lot of y'all. Somebody that you were either dealing with or their karmic, somehow, some way, these people was doing black magic on you. When that came to your attention, what you do? Six of swords, that ass. That's what you did. You got up out of there. <laughs> I know that's me. This was my story. So I found out these people was doing black magic on me. Oh, okay. Yeah. Deuces. Two bunnies. Deuces. Two fingers. Bye bye. Goodbye. Bye bye bye. <laughs> Got up out of there. Oh, that rough water. Uh uh. Mm -mm, mm -mm. And in a lot of cases, God, you know, the divine, divinely led us away. You know, got us up out of there. Like, mm mm. This ain't for you, baby. Come on. Like, come on, grab your bed. Come on, let's go. Yeah, you know, you moving from rough waters to calm waters. This is, yeah, this is definitely collective energy. You know, you might have found out that somebody was doing black magic on you, baby. And you got away from their ass. Like, oh, he a warlock? Oh, no. Like, I'm out of here. But, yeah, you found out about that black magic. You moved from rough waters to calm waters. Um, headed towards victory and success. You're going to get everything that you've been working for. Because you've stayed in alignment. You've done the right thing. People see it, too. Like, your haters that are watching your content, if you're a creator, or lurking on your pages, they know where you're headed. They see it, too. They know exactly where you're headed, boo. Victory and success. Queen of Wands. You could be a man or woman in Queen of Wands energy. Uh, Queen of Wands is creative. They're passionate. They're driven. Uh, this person has a lot of creative ideas. Um, a lot of y'all are starting businesses. A lot of y'all are coming up with business ideas. A lot of you are finding passions, like things that you're actually passionate about doing. And you're pursuing them. You know? And that's what you... It was fated to happen that way. You're supposed to... You're doing what you're supposed to be doing. You know? But you're headed towards victory and success. And like I say, people see that. They know. <laughs> they know. Uh, then we have the Ten of Wands. You know, somebody is tremendously burdened. Like, oh my God, why did I sign up for this? Like, what did I do, Lord? Oh my God. Don't cry to God. Don't cry. To, don't talk to God now. You wouldn't talk to God when you was casting all them spells, doing all them incantations, doing them death spells. You wouldn't talk to God then. Don't talk to God now. The hell? Ten of, ten of Wands is clarified by Ten of Cups. TNT, baby, it's over. It's a wrap. That's double one to completion. Four of Wands in reverse. Justice in reverse. Twin Flame in reverse. 
Like I said, for a lot of y'all, this was not your twin. If it was, it's not anymore. <laughs> like I said, if this person had any type of divinity, they sold it. Probably for about $1,000. I know the person. Man, I ain't even gonna get it. <laughs> Man, this, whoever this was, they sold their soul, sold their divinity, and they sold it cheap. <laughs> $5 in a pack of Newports. Baby, that, they got you. <laughs> oh, baby. My goodness. But yeah, somebody is tremendously burdened. They are burdened and, you know, probably feeling some type of way about the thought of you getting wish fulfillment. You getting the ultimate fulfillment. You having, a, you know, a family, having kids, being happy. These are happiness haters. So they are heavily burdened by the, the idea of you being happy. Like, oh, the collector about to get everything they want because they deserve enough it and they've been working for it. And that makes me mad. Like, what? Are you kidding? Like, these people... These people need help. And I don't think, you know, psychiatric help is going to cut it. They need spiritual help. Like, these people are... They need some help. These people was really counting on... <laughs> they was really counting on your instability. Somebody wanted you to be unstable. And with the, the Ten of Cups, is a family card. You know, family could have been involved. Somebody wanted you to be unstable. They wanted you, you know, they wanted to come for your foundation. Might have wanted you to be homeless. A lot of your ops are homeless. You know, some of y'all, people's getting evicted. They're getting put out. They don't know why. Uh, well, they should know why. Because it's all of that bullshit that they were sending out going back to them. Karmic law. What you do to others will be done unto you. Like, well, <laughs> they thought they was exempt. They don't even believe in God. They thought they was protected. Like, oh, come on now. Come on. Trying to escape justice. These people were unjust in their actions. Whoever tried to get you put out of your house, they just got put out. They ain't got nowhere to stay. Probably gonna be contacting you at some point. Like, uh, well, I, first I wanted to apologize, and then two, uh, uh, you, you think I can stay? No, you cannot. No, you cannot. You want to stay in the same house you tried to get me put out of? Imagine that. Ain't that, <laughs> baby? Yeah, but you know, false flame. If this was your twin flame, and you, I know I'm not the only reader talking about this. If this was your twin flame, which you could have been, like I say, in some sad cases, that person gets tricked right on out of their spot, and then somebody else gets to step up and claim it. A divine replacement, baby. Baby! <laughs> person got jib. You chose up, especially if this man went and married. You went and married a karmic energy. You went and married, let me get this right. You went and married a pretender. You made a high level commitment to a pretender. Instead of the collective, God's chosen, starseed. Like the anointed, are you? Like I gotta say, when this man or woman chose this karmic energy, they chose their fate. You sealed your fate. Enjoy. Hope you have, all I wanted for you was for you to be happy. I hope you're happy. Uh, we have temperance in reverse. This person could be drinking. They drinking a lot. Like I just, <laughs> ugh, I just got nauseous. Ugh. Somebody's drinking. They overindulging. Because they know that they, they really fucked up. They know they really, really, like, fucked up they, their own life. And like I said, a lot of things that were done to y'all are unforgivable. You know? Like, for some of y'all, it was just cheating. You know, this person couldn't stop cheating. You know, for some of y'all, this person was cheating and lying on you, started to smear campaign, tried to ruin your reputation. For some of y'all, this person was cheating on you, lying on you, started to smear campaign on you, and tried to kill you with death spells. And I know, I know you didn't think that was going to be okay. Like, some of my man, tempers in reverse is clarified by <laughs> white magic in reverse. Like I said, this is somebody that lacks faith. I'm sorry. This is somebody that lacks faith. You know, they don't have, they don't believe in God no way. So no, they're not praying. They're not talking to angels. This person lacks faith. Drinking. <laughs> this person is going to get their least desired outcome. The star in reverse. You know, the star talks about victory, success, getting your most desired outcome. You know, when it's in reverse, somebody's getting their least desired outcome. The worst case, the worst case scenario is about to become their reality. Because they made the wrong choices. You think you could be a fucked up person and nothing's going to happen to you? Especially when you're dealing with the collective, God's chosen, God's favorite. You know, like, are you... 
And what's stupid, this is what's even more like irritating for me, because if this person was your twin flame, then they were God's chosen, they were God's favorite too. This person had a destiny with you, a purpose with you. The Ten of Pentacles was theirs. It was already theirs. And what they do? Fucked it up for themselves. This person might want you to give them something. <laughs> I'm sorry. It just cracks me up. Because I know in my case, I had somebody sending me finance blockages. This person was doing heavy spell over trying to block my finances. And now you got the nerve to ask for some money. You want some money. The same money you were trying to block from coming to me, you want some of it. Six of cups. <laughs> Thinking about the past. They want to come back. They want to come back. <laughs> oh my goodness. I cannot. This is <laughs> Make it make sense. Make it make sense. This don't make no sense. Like none. You want to come back. Because you got your least desired outcome. You tried to go against the collective and you got your least desired outcome. Everything that you touch is turning to shit. You know, some of these folks don't lost their jobs. They don't lost their house. They don't have no money. But they were sending you love blockages, finance blockages. Now they want some of your money. You tried to block my finances, right? But now you want some? You need a loan? You need a little bit of gas? Like, make it make sense. Are you stupid? And don't tell me this man. <laughs> got the audacity to want to come back. Thinking about the past, thinking about memories. Uh, this is the reunion card, you know, coming back together. Reconciliation. This is in the upright. Like I say, some of y'all gonna get back with this person. And I know some of y'all, <laughs> some of y'all is like, <laughs> the fuck? <laughs> it'll never happen. Shit, it'll never happen. And like I said, can't nobody blame you. Just how this person had free will to go do all the fuck shit that they did, you got free will to never look back. So, more power to you. This person is in deep room. <laughs> we got the Five of Cups in reverse. Five of Cups, you know, this is talking about deep regret. You know, when it's in, uh, when it's in reverse, this person, they like everything is falling down. The sky is falling. This person realizes it's finally settled in. Like, oh my God. Like, what did I do? How did I get here? How you get there? I don't know. I didn't take you. I ain't drop you off. How you get there? Hmm. <laughs> Five of Cups in Reverse is clarified by enlightenment. Yeah, this person is enlightened now. Like I said, it's finally settled in. Like, oh my God. Like, damn. Oh, that was real. That was really the Empress? That was the real deal? Like, <laughs> that's what I said. <laughs> That's what I feel. I feel like somebody's like, oh my God, that was a real one? Well, I'll be damned. That was a real empress. Oh, God damn. Yeah, this man out here trying to be a player. Like the ones in reverse. It's also about sexual excess. Somebody just laying it low, spreading it wide, just doing the hokey pokey all night long. Like, come on now. Probably got an STD. Oh, this person might have an STD. Man, ooh, they're receiving bad news. Some test results, baby. Ooh, I, I, oh, my goodness. <laughs> I can't make this up. Ooh, the moon in reverse. Secrets, lies, deception, all revealed. Man. Yeah, somebody was uh, in sexual excess, having a whole lot of sex. They're receiving bad news because something's been exposed. Like I said, that bad, I don't know why, when I looked at that card, I felt like that, you know, I got a twinge of an itch. Like, you know, they might have got an STD. This bad news, you know, this might be uh some test results. I don't know. Let me know in the comments. <laughs> Let me know in the comments. What's going on, sis? What happened? There's <laughs> some lies and some deception that's been revealed, though. Ace of Cups in reverse. You know, for a lot of y'all, if you wanted, if this person wanted a passionate new beginning in love with you, they're not going to get it. I'm taking this three separate ways. And I feel all three of them equally with this card. And I ain't even clarified yet. Ace of Cups in reverse, you know, uh, if this person wanted a passionate new beginning in love with you, they're not going to get it. 
Another way I'm taking this, this person didn't love you. This person does not love you. So there's no way that this person could love you. They could have genuine love for you, the Ace of Cups for you, and they would do the things that they did. Ace of Cups in reverse, this person does not love you. And then the third way I'm taking it, baby, a lot of y'all don't love this motherfucker neither. You don't love this. <laughs> Shit, they done did a lot of stuff to you. You know, a lot of y'all been drilled through the mud. And I know in my case, I stuck with this person betrayal after betrayal after betrayal. When I got to number four, I tapped out. Like, you know what? Enough is enough. Give me my love back. Give me my power back. Give me my time back and get the fuck on. And a lot of y'all did the exact same thing. And they said, you know, the truth is, there's no love there. There's no more love there. Ace of Cups in Reverse is clarified by. This was a karmic to you, baby. This was a karmic to ya. But the good thing is, is that if you didn't already sifted through your false flame, guess who on the way? Guess who on the way after your false flame? The true one. Baby, what's up? <laughs> what's up? Knight of Cups. It's a love offer and it's in the upright. I just said I can't make this up. I cannot make this up. Man. Yeah. You know, you just killed that karmic connection. That karmic connection, that false flame, you know, this pretender that wasted your time, wasted your emotions, took you for granted, screwed themselves, ruined their own life. That person's out of here. So this next love offer you get, or the next person, not, I'm not going to say the next person, you know, still use your discernment. Because, you know, they like to send decoys and send people in to distract you. But, um, you know, if you were dealing with the false flame, the true one comes after that. And this person's been through the same things that you've been through. They understand exactly what you've been through. They know how to treat you. You guys are going to come together and have a life full of bliss. You guys are going to create together. You guys are going to raise the vibration of the world together. I hear is, I mean, and like I say, I gave up. Because of this false flame, I really gave up on the twin flame journey. But you know, uh, that was a false flame. That was a karmic. So, um, but yeah. We got the Knight of Cups. Let's go over here. Knight of Cups. Oh my goodness. The Empress in reverse. Why can't she just stay away? With this girl going on somewhere. Somebody just slapped the shit away. Eight of Cups. <laughs> okay, now this is what I'm about to say is not for everybody. If you're in like a same sex type of relationship or situation, this karmic energy, like say you say you date men, and the karmic energy that took your masculine is a man as well. <laughs> this person gonna have the audacity to try to approach you and make a love offer. Cause they lost, they realize they've lost. They lost. But I, and like I say, a lot of y'all don't even know this person. Or say you're a woman dating another woman. This person's gonna approach you and try to make you a love offer. They didn't drain you, you know, your, your, whoever your, your twin flame was, they didn't drain that person. You know what I'm saying? Got everything they could get from them. This person might actually have the audacity, the audacity to approach you. Like I said, don't approach me. I bought a gun. Don't approach me. I mean, you can approach. You better do it real slowly. Because I, I keep my safety off. Uh, Eight of Cups. Yeah, this person ain't healed, man. This is somebody unhealed. Mm -mm. Stay away. Like I say, use your discernment. This could also be this Empress in Reverse, this false person, trying to make your masculine another love offer. There's no love there, though. There's no love in that connection. And like I say, for a lot of y'all, this masculine don't love you. And you see that. You see by the way that, the way that this person handles you. They don't love you. But like I say, for most of y'all, y'all don't love this person no more. They beat it and, you know, spell worked it right on out of you. Like, shit. I had a, love, a, love, a cup of love overflowing for this person. Like I say, at one point, I loved this person more than I loved myself. And I ain't never did that before in my 35 years. But like I said, that cup is bone dry. I, I have the, the, the type of love I have for that person is the love that I have for a stranger, a man I see walking on the street. Like I love, hey, beautiful person, hey, how you doing? But that's it. Like, yeah, you know. <laughs> you talking about a, a cup overflowing? <laughs> <laughs> the 
funny. That's funny. Then, with this been coming out, bottom of the deck, four swords in reverse. Somebody is sick. They're going through bad health. All that shit they tried to send out. All them death spells and caught up with you, huh? Mm, mm, mm. I pray for you. Yeah, somebody wounded and they, <laughs> you know, nine of wands is on the wounded warrior. Somebody that's been through a lot, suffered through a lot, and they're still standing. They's still pushing. Somebody that been through a lot, they suffering through a lot, and yeah, they they, they not necessarily standing. They, you know, they kind of stuck. They did not use their intuition in this situation, man. Whenever you had these two back to back, both in reverse, intuitive camp and the high priestess in reverse. You know, both of these cards talk about intuition. They talk about listening to that inner voice, paying attention to the signs. When they're both, they, and time after time, they come out back to back together and in reverse. This talks, this is double on the lack of intuition. Somebody was not listening to them higher se their higher self. Refuse to go within. Hermit in reverse. You refuse to go within, refuse to do the work. And now the sun, everything has been revealed to them now. Now that it's too late, they see, they see. You know, they're seeing clearly. Yeah, this person was bound. They were at a stalemate. They are at a stalemate. Blindfolded, hands behind their back, two swords in front of them, can't move forward. Probably what they wanted for you. This person has a lot of conflict, a lot of tension in their uh, environment. This person may try to come towards you and offer you something, some type of gift. Do not take it. Yeah, and like I said, this person very well could have been under some type of illusion. You know, that's no excuse. Because they put a lot of hard work. Eight of Pentacles in reverse. They put a lot of hard work into being a false person. This person's going through legal issues. Person's going through bad karma. Seven of Pentacles in reverse. You know, they plant the seeds and yeah, they're not going to get a harvest. This person's full of regret. Feeling rejected by you. When, like I said, in a lot of cases, this person left you before you left them. But oh, they feel rejected. Like, what? Somebody might want to say sorry, Page of Cups. This person going through deep emotional pain. Three of Swords in reverse. They're going through deep emotional pain. <laughs> everything you felt, you know, and, and, and yeah, karma is served tenfold. So everything you felt, that person's feeling on a totally different level. Yeah, coming for an innocent person. Yeah, this person's, oh. See, I don't wish that on nobody. See, I, you know what I mean? I, 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 this person's facing major delays in their life. Like I said, this, I get the energy of somebody who has a lot of karmic debt. And uh, they're losing independence. You know, any success that they had gained, especially if this is like an energy harvester, and they took they took, you know took your energy and was going to manifest off of your shit. You know, as soon as you broke up with this person, sort of calling your power back, that shit started failing. Thing is, yeah, you gotta have to do your own work like the rest of us. You gotta do your own work. The person's in the five of pentacles. They want to come in from out of the cold. But this person is a hater. Like I said, even if it was a man, you're a woman and you were dealing with the man, that man was hating on you. You know, there are a lot of women who are a lot more successful than men. And it's sad to say it, but you know that man was hating on you. He didn't want to see you in, he didn't want to see you do better than him. Oh, insecure ass. Grown ass man, insecure. Hating on this woman. Like, what type of shit? Yeah, this person was greedy. They were holding on to you way too tight. Didn't want to let your energy go. They tried to win by deceit and they failed. You got a new emperor coming towards you, baby. And this is going to be wish fulfillment. Oh, collect. Collect. I get so excited. Because <laughs> look at the way they came out. Baby, <laughs> let me show you this. You have, okay, so nine of cups. You have wish fulfillment coming towards you. That wish fulfillment, bow, it's your emperor, baby. That's your new divine partner. Look, divine partner in the upright. Boom! Wish fulfillment, emperor, divine partner. And this is going to have somebody else real stressed out. <laughs> somebody else is going to be so stressed out because you're about to get love. You're about to get your real partner. It's going to have somebody else really stressed out, man. Ha, 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 ha. <laughs> Shoot, man, craziness. Let's get into this mess, Dick. See if we got pop out for us. <laughs> Crazy, goodness. 
I try to make humor out of like, you know, certain readings. I try to, you know, I know y'all been laughing with me though. This is, because it's funny. This shit is just funny. Absolutely hilarious. Like, come on now. Karmic is watching and stalking to see if the spell work is working. It's not working, sis. <laughs> yeah, we, we in two totally different cycles, sis. <laughs> Stupid. <laughs> <laughs> that is funny False accusation These people gonna falsely accuse you of some shit Did they know they did That's a lot A lot of them is why they about to be in legal trouble You know some of y'all This is rare instance but some of y'all You know had false cases opened up on y'all These people lied to authorities uh, Used government resources to like really do an investigation on you And yeah Nothing came back because you're not a false person So that false person that's who's yeah. That's who's going through legal issues. That's who's uh, going through it. It was all about money to them. If you was getting it, they was hating on you. That's what uh, this is making a stallion song. What she said: If I was still doing broke shit with your broke ass, then your broke ass wouldn't want beef. And that's exactly what it was. If you were still broke, down, busted, and disgusted, they wouldn't be messing with you, collective. They on your head because you winning. Proceed with caution. Like I said, a lot of y'all, y'all been perceived with caution when it comes to these energies. They will want to proceed with caution when it comes to you. Because God don't play about his children. And I think a lot of these clowns is finding that out the hard way. Heart chakra can be significant. Maybe you need to do some meditation. Open up your heart. Open up your heart, collective. Look from a different perspective. I don't know about y'all, but I looked at this situation from every which angle I could. It still don't make sense to me. But, uh, okay. Aries, you could be an Aries. Somebody in could be an Aries. Divine inheritance, baby. That's what it was about. The divine inheritance. Like I said, a lot of y'all had a partner that really just squandered. He allowed himself to be duped, tricked right on out of like, all the good shit that was supposed to come to him. All the good shit that this man and woman was destined for. I'm going to regret this for the rest of my life. You most certainly are. And like I said, Collective ain't want that for you. We didn't want that for you. Red car. Somebody might drive a red car. They said things they will never say to your face. Of course, cowards. Twitter fingers. I feel like you don't love me anymore. <laughs> he said he feel like you don't love him no more. I feel like you don't love me no more. It's a vacancy. Cause love don't live here anymore. Baby, it don't live here no more. Love moved, yeah. Uh-uh. Yeah. <laughs> That's funny. Police officer could be involved. I didn't intend to hurt you, but it was cheaper to keep her. Well, yeah, keep her cheap ass. I don't care. <laughs> right, collective. Keep her cheap ass. Sexually transmitted disease. I said it. Because it felt me, mm, baby. My karmic secretly loves you too. Your karmic can go straight to them. They're shook and confused because their magic worked on everybody else but not you. You talking about the collective, dummy? You thought your magic was going to work on God's anointing? They thought their magic was going to work on God's anointing. Bless their heart. Bless his heart. Manipulator. This person was a manipulator, a mental manipulator, an emotional manipulator, and an energetic manipulator. Trash box. That's what it was, a trash can. <coughs> yeah, you've been headed toward me. Collect. North Node, destined for greatness. You know it. A lot of us didn't know. We had no idea, but we know now we done woke up. North Node, Destined for Greatness, Collective, yes, yeah, you're too good for this person or these people, P period, you too good for them, you know, like I said yesterday, price went up, <laughs> sad part is, a lot of these people can't afford it no more, they can't afford you, price done went up, high level commitment, baby, <laughs> I'm going to love you better than you've ever been loved before. Baby, don't you threaten me with a good time. 
Shoot. <laughs> He gonna love you than you ever been loved before. Baby. Hey. I have anything else there? Ain't hey, more messages there. All right, I'm gonna take these and I'm gonna call it. You can't have a testimony without a test. Spiritual Sage. Shout out to Spiritual Sage. I love her. Can't have a testimony, or you, yeah, you can't have a testimony without a test. Yeah, the person you were dealing with had too much pride. Too much pride and living out of pride and ego. But uh, as my daddy told me, uh, pride comes before the fall, baby. <laughs> yeah, this ex-partner of yours had way too much pride. Too much pride to admit their wrongs. Too much pride to take accountability. Too much pride to come in as a real man and be like, hey, you know what? I really fucked up and I'm really sorry about that. Somebody father? Maybe your father got too much pride. <laughs> pride comes <laughs> pride comes before the fall. BB, I don't know. Something about some lies and some rumors. They always lying on the Empress. They always lying on the collector. Shoot. Been lying on me. I've been man. People been lying on me since I was a child. Blessings on the way. Keep going. Keep going. They on the way. I know that I can't lie to you. You see right through me. Facts. Facts, AF. See right through them. Collect. All right, I'm going to do a uh, journey of love and star seed. Let's do that. Let's do that. <coughs> spirit, can we get a good message for the collective? Really good message for the collective spirit. I'm going to reach in here and grab one. The breaking. The breaking. All right, now I'm going to do uh, one from Star Seed as well. Spirit, can we get a good message for the collector? A really good message for the collector. Spirit, really good message for the collector. I'm reaching here, grab one. Trust the timing. I think these is right on time. Watch. These about to be right on time. These oracles, these oracles is about to hit. All right. The breaking. <clears throat> you are breaking apart. You might not understand it at all. There is not so much to be understood, but the simplicity doesn't mean it is easy to endure. You may worry that you are going too far, that you may not recover or ever come back together again. But what can you do? Can you hold back from the divine love that calls you, that lures you to becoming all that you are, to remembering your divine nature? Well, you could try, but for what purpose? Temporary rest before the storm at best. So take the rest if you need it, then dive into the storm. Let yourself be brokenhearted by the divine so that you can become your truth, become all that you're meant to be. It is better to have the heart broken so that it grows than to be brokenhearted by thinking you must protect yourself from love. This oracle brings compassionate guidance that no matter what sadness or anger, despair or frustration you may feel, you are being pulled apart not by dark forces, but by the loving embrace of the divine, as it strips you of that which would keep you from your divine realization. Let go and break. It is going to be the making of you. Ooh, they gave me chills. That was a good one. The breaking. Okay. All right. Then we have trust the timing from Starseed. Trust the wave you came in on. Time is not running out. Did we have that yesterday? It's the message. Still pushing that message, I guess. I don't know. Trust the timing. So often, those who feel like they're here for a reason sense that time is running out, and they spend their life worrying that they might miss their moment. But the only way to miss your life or your moment is to spend your time worrying about missing it. It's never too late to answer a calling, and you're never too old. The tides of your life are magnificently orchestrated to come in and out in perfect unison. Don't race ahead and ride a wave that was never meant for you. 
You'll waste your precious time and energy when instead you could be enjoying your life. Everything has a season and you're being called to trust the one that, that you're in. Don't let impatience, comparison, competition, or paranoia disturb the seeds. It seems that everyone has anxiety these days, constantly scanning for something they might have missed or a possible threat. Keeping our mind and body pointed in the same direction as our soul is near impossible at such reactive speeds. Right now, you're being reminded to take a breath and trust the wave you came in on, to trust the season you're in. Time isn't running out. There's plenty of time. There's no rush and it's never too late. I needed that. I think we had this yesterday too. That one resonates. Cause like I said, you know, I'm 35 and you know, people like I'm with the high school, we, you know, they already got their master's degrees and you know, these people are already established in their career and in their faith and you know, they got kids and stuff. So it's easy to feel like, you know, oh my gosh, I gotta catch up, I gotta catch up. I'm behind, I'm behind. This is pretty much saying, don't do that. Don't do that, you're right on time. You know, do it at your own pace. You know, what's for you ain't for everybody else. And what's for everybody else ain't for you. But God knows what's for you. Okay, I do have a prayer. I'm going to do confessions. Y'all know that's my favorite prayer. It is Sunday. And confessions is my fave. So, uh, yeah. I'm praying for everybody watching. I'm praying for the collective. You star seeds. You chosen ones. All you beautiful souls out there. And I'm praying for myself. No weapon formed against me shall prosper. And every tongue that rises against me in judgment, I condemn. I am established in righteousness, and oppression is far from me. The weapons of my warfare are not carnal, but mighty through, through God to the pulling down of strongholds. I take the shield of faith, and I quench every fiery dart of the enemy. I take the sword of the Spirit, which is the word of God, and use it against the enemy. I am redeemed from the curse of the law. I am redeemed from poverty. I am redeemed from sickness. I am redeemed from spiritual death. I overcome all because greater is he that is in me than he that is in the world. I stand in the evil day, having my loins girded about with truth, and I have the breastplate of righteousness. My feet are shod with the gospel of peace. I take the shield of faith, and I am covered with the helmet of salvation, and I use the sword of the spirit, which is the word of God. I am delivered from the power of darkness and translated into the kingdom of God's dear son. I tread upon serpents and scorpions and all over the power of the enemy, and nothing shall hurt me. I do not have the spirit of fear, but of power, love, and a sound mind. I am blessed with all spiritual blessings in heavenly places in Christ Jesus. I am healed by the stripes of Jesus. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. Amen. Like I said, yeah, those of you who watch me, y'all know I love this prayer. I, and it goes... It's a, it's a couple pages. I'll I be sparing y'all because it's really another page and a half, but I'll be sparing y'all. I guess I could have did the whole thing. I don't know. Yeah. Amen. <laughs> um, I hope this helps. I hope there was some clarity, some guidance, you know. Uh, you know, some encouragement, you know. Maybe a couple chuckles, a little bit of laughing for you. I enjoy doing these because it's therapeutic for me too. I like to laugh. And I grew up an only child. So I would like, I have siblings that are just a lot younger. But like, I would like sit in the mirror and make funny faces to make myself laugh. So like, I, <laughs> I still make myself laugh. But um, it's therapeutic. But yeah, I hope this helps. I hope there was something for you guys. If not, thank you guys for hanging out with me. I love you guys so much. You guys are so amazing. So amazing. Soul Tribe vibes, baby. Um, to anybody that's donated to the channel, thank you guys so much. It's a really big help. I love you guys so much. To anybody that would like to donate to the channel, the links are going to be in the description box of this video. Uh, to anybody that gives me those energetic, uh, those energetic donations, those likes, those comments, those subscribes. Thank you guys so much. It's a really big help. I love you guys. I'm so glad you're here. Um, I want to send you guys an abundance of love, light, and healing vibes. You guys are so worthy. You're so deserving of it. You're deserving of greatness. Um, and as always, I'm Kev, Intuitive Kev, and this has been a reading for The Collective. I'll see you guys later.